Mini plug-in solar panels are taking off in some parts of Europe, mainly in Germany. Most of the time this is referred to as balcony solar, since it's just a bunch of solar panels hanging in the over-the-edge balcony. Commercially available balcony solar systems produce up to 800 watts or 600 watts of power. There is a reason, I will get into that later. Almost every balcony solar solution operates in a grid-tie solar topology, which means your solar power system is connected to the main electricity grid. That way you can reduce your electricity costs by adding your solar-generated electricity to the main grid. Think this way, you have a base load of 300 watts. It can be your refrigerator. Wi-Fi router and security system. Then you connect a 600 watt balcony solar system to your house which runs on its maximum power on a sunny day. Now, you don't consume electricity from the grid, quite the opposite. You export your excess 300 watts of electricity to the grid. That green electricity can be used by someone else. For the same example, let's say it's a cloudy day. Your balcony solar system only produces 200 watts of power. In this case, your house has to import an inadequate 100 watts of power from the grid. Some balcony solar power systems have small battery storage to store daytime solar power energy for the night. By doing that, users can cut their peak hour electricity rates by using solar-generated electricity at night. It is the most effective way to use balcony solar because solar energy is generated during the daytime and users don't have enough use cases to use that energy at that time. By storing free solar energy in the daytime and using it in nighttime, when the electricity rates are high and have the highest use cases, batteries are very important for balcony solar. Now get back into the 800 watts or 600 watts max power output balcony solar limitation. There are some limitations for exporting electricity back to the grid. For example, EU countries can export up to 800 watts of power without registering with the power grid operator, but in Germany, it overrides the rule and can export up to only 600 watts of power to the grid without registering. If you are producing more power than what your country allows to export electricity to the grid, users have to register with the responsible grid operator to export electricity to the grid. Otherwise, users may get fines up to 50,000 euros for administrative offences. The registration is intended to ensure that the safe devices are connected to the grid, reduce the risk of grid overloads, and minimize the accidents. Always check which regulations apply to your country before installing a balcony solar system. This is one of the most cost-effective solar system methods that exists right now because you don't have to set up an entire system. You only need a solar panel and a grid tie microinverter. If you know how to connect these two components and connect to your house plug point, you can make a mini plug-in solar system by yourself. If you want to use that solar at night, you can get a balcony solar battery from solar system providers like Anchor, Marstec, Ecoflow, Blue Eti, Sentio as such. Marstec B250 Balcony Solar 1 battery unit has 2.4 kWh capacity and you can connect three Marstec batteries for 6.7 to kWh. One unit has 1 kW dual MPPT solar panel input. Total system output is 800 watts DC. With a microinverter, you can convert the DC output to AC output that synchronizes with the grid. Anchor Solix IS40P offers 1.6 kWh of energy storage, and you can choose 800 watt or 600 watt output microinverters from Anchor. EcoFlow PowerStream Balcony Solar System offers 1039 Wh of storage. If you already have Delta Pro or Riva Series EcoFlow Solar Power Stations, you only need the PowerStream microinverter. That way, you can easily set up your balcony solar power system. If you want to go the DIY method, Check the link in the description. Thank you for watching.